if you want to learn 3D modeling, animation, or visual effects, and you want to do it fast and efficiently, we will give you 8 tips that can help you accelerate the learning process and shorten the learning curve. Number 8. Don't underestimate the process. Probably the first few things that attracted you to learning 3D modeling and animation is the stunning artwork of some of the best 3D artists. Nowadays you can basically see amazing 3D artwork everywhere, and this might give you the impression that it is easy to be that good, or that it is something that you can acquire within a few weeks or just few months. When I say learning and becoming a 3D artist fast, I'm talking in terms of 1 to 2 years, not weeks or months, because on average, good artists don't become that good until they spend at least, I would say, 2 to 4 years. But if you are serious about it and follow these strategies, you can get good even within one year. Number 7. Learn one thing at a time. One of the fastest and easiest ways to learn 3D is learning one thing at a time. This can be especially true if you plan on becoming a generalist because there are so many things to learn. If you try to learn so many things at once, it is going to be hard to make progress simply because you are going to be wasting a lot of time and energy just switching from one thing to another, which is highly unproductive to say the least. Combine that with the fact that you are probably new and you will end up learning and forgetting new things, since the brain needs to drill the new concepts and how to use the tools through practice and repetition. So break down what you need to learn into biteable chunks and eat them one at a time. Number 6. Take notes. Taking notes when learning 3D is not as important as taking notes when studying math or physics, because 3D skills are acquired by practicing for the most part, but if you take notes of the most important things you need to learn and remember, you will be much more productive and efficient during the time you will spend learning 3D software. One of the best 5 formats to store documents in your computer is PDF, usually by converting a Word document or other popular formats, and to do this I use HiPDF which is a complete solution and easy to use platform to convert different types of document formats like Word, PDF, Excel, and so on. And you can also do different things to PDF files like compressing them, adding images, splitting them, editing text, and more. For example, one of the most important things you need to remember as a 3D artist when you use software such as Blender or 3ds Max is shortcuts or hotkeys, especially Blender because there are a lot of them. For example, if I write some of the most used shortcuts for Blender that I don't want to forget, I can just write them in Microsoft Word and then convert it to PDF. And if the PDF file is too large, I can compress it using the desktop version of High PDF if I want to and send it quickly to someone who will use it as well. If you are interested, you can get up to 60% off. Links in the description. Number 5. Find good learning resources. Today there is an abundance of learning resources for new artists as opposed to only 15 or 20 years ago when new artists were lucky to find a good written tutorials or a few high quality courses on the subject they wanted to learn when it comes to 3D modeling, animation or visual effects. Now there are so many different places to learn from if you want to learn and accelerate the learning process. If you are new and you don't know anything about 3D, I suggest first to go to YouTube because you will find very good tutorials about 3D software such as 3ds Max, Blender, Maya, ZBrush and much more, especially Blender content which is all over the place. This will give you a better idea about this industry and whether you are going to invest your time learning it or not. After that, you need to focus on learning from one or two YouTube channels or buy two or three courses that you will focus on until you feel like you are competent in whatever you are learning during that time period. Number 4. Don't stay in the comfort zone. 3D modeling is like a mystery box that you haven't opened yet. This is a beautiful art form that a lot of people don't know anything about, but once they try it, some will love it but others not so much. Overall, it is a form of art that takes years of practice. Not any form of practice, but deliberate intentional practice. So if you focus your energy on learning and becoming better, you will get there faster compared to being wishy-washy and all over the place. But most importantly, you have to get out of the comfort zone in order to keep making progress on a regular basis. The comfort zone is very dangerous because you will not stop practicing 3D as an artist, but you are not learning new skills and developing as an artist either. It is like working a 9-to-5 job. You are not poor and homeless, but you are not successful. You just exist in a limited zone that you don't want to leave either because 
it is challenging and demanding to put effort and energy into learning concepts and skills or because you just don't like it and you want to do things like you always done them even though you are not that good right now. So to get results faster, you need to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Meaning when you learn something and you become good at it after a few days or weeks of deliberate practice, you have to move on to the next thing until you become good at doing a lot of things. And these things together will make you a good 3D artist. Number three, learn from the mistakes of others. One thing to do in order to learn faster is learning from the mistakes of others by reading articles or watching videos like this. Another very effective and more immersive source of information that can be a roadmap for learning from the mistakes of others is listening to podcasts of 3D artists. They are not that popular and there aren't a lot of them out there, but the ones you can find can be very effective and useful. Experienced 3D artists will tell you about the mistakes they made and how they learned to be as good as they are right now. Making mistakes is not necessarily bad or should be avoided at all costs. Because, believe it or not, a healthy dose of failure on a regular basis is very good for learning and becoming better. I would say that the most important thing you can take away from learning from the mistakes of others is avoiding the traps that will waste your time and energy. Number 2. Set deadlines for yourself Setting goals that you want to achieve or learning certain skills within a deadline is also one of the ways to accelerate your learning curve because there are too many things to learn which makes sticking to one thing hard not to mention the distractions that will be around you to prevent you from doing anything productive 20 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can, for example, give yourself a month to complete something like a 20-hour course and do all the exercises included in it, in addition to applying what you learned on one of your projects at least. Learning with a deadline in mind is going to allow you to free your mind from the temptation of distractions or trying to learn many things at once, because you have an obligation to finish what you are learning right now. Number 1. Specialize early on One of the key ingredients of becoming a 3D artist faster is specializing early on after you cultivate a general understanding of the fields of 3D industries like game development, VFX, architecture, animation, and their subspecialties in those industries. Think of what you want to do, whether it be creating characters, hard surface stuff, visual effects, animation, materials and textures, you name it. The thing is, even when you specialize, you can even specialize further. For example, as a character artist, you can only create monsters, realistic human beings, girls, anime characters, you name it. Also, for example, in hard service modeling, you can be a weapons artist, a vehicles artist, and so on. It is hard to say, but the fact that there are too many 3D artists right now, and with the demand of better and highly artistic people that can do very specific things, specialists are more desirable these days. But to keep things simple, if you want to focus on effects and not modeling characters or animation, you still have to know the basics but your focus will be learning effects and dynamics, like how rigid bodies and soft bodies work, and how to use dynamics and generate believable simulations and so on. And if you don't want to learn to model and you like animating, get some 3D models and start rigging and animating. This way you will not have a very good understanding of the whole production pipeline, but you will be very good at what you do in a shorter period of time by learning more and more from projects. But don't get stuck with the basics. Just learn how the tools work and go for it. You can learn more and more every day as you fail and make progress. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.